Lake City. Salt Lake City, also known as Salt T City. So, <laughs> and we, I asked Ashley to marry me, and she said yes, we're going to be showing clips. Our little proposal, Paul, was so sweet. Like, I didn't even know that that was going to happen. I painted my nails, too. We're going to be showing clips uh, throughout this video, so stay tuned. Uh, the engagement clips and trips, clips from the trips. And pictures, because, oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Anyway. And Ashley put this fantastic spread for us together today. Yeah, very the first romantic. Thing, mm -hmm, the first thing we're going to do is Champagne practice. toast. So we got some champagne here. Bottle of Cavalli Prosecco. But this is what we got to try tonight, because the, mm. they actually go with the flowers pretty good. Wanted to try something different. So let's go. Let's, let's crack it open, baby. Yeah. I'm going to try to do it. Chetley. We got our little flutes. <laughs> and then I'll explain what yeah, we're eating. Right, we Look at the bouquet of flowers I found. I'm just trying. To, yeah, isn't it cool? There goes my eardrum. Oh, I got that. We just got a little steam, baby. That's all right. That's good, though. <laughs> I've been picking up stuff off the floor ever since I met Bob. Ask his mom. <laughs> she will for the rest of her life now. You gotta tip the glass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta tip it. Here, you want me to pour it? You want me to pour yours? Pour slow. Slow. Have I ever. Have I ever look at how much. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. So I'm just sip. <laughs> okay. Champagne toast. Don't block the flowers. That's mm. right. Look at the flowers, they smell so good, and yes, I guys. keep them away from our kitties. So, I love you, baby. You know yeah, that. Too. You're my soulmate. You're my soulmate. I want to tell everybody how much I love you. <laughs> you mean everything to me, and your other half, and I appreciate everything you do for me, mm. including make me special meals. Yeah. And that are healthy. And do videos with me, and also do a bunch of other fun stuff on the extracurricular. Yeah. I love you. Cheers. Cheers. Now we gotta get to the. God, I thought those were gonna break. The what? The wedding. Oh. What do you think? That's that really good because it's not too sweet. That's that. It's a little bit on the drier side, but it's not like suck your the moisture out of your tongue. Yeah, that's that rose. Yeah, it's pretty good. Come here, Micah. Oh, Micah's out here. I know a lot of people want to see Micah. Come here, Micah. May's upstairs in our bedroom sleeping. We have a cat tree, like, everywhere. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, he was daddy. Oh, you want to get face machine? Oh, you like I'll call him dad. I'm out of here. Oh, no, he's going to get on the table. Go ahead. Go ahead, baby. We should put, like, a blanket again. Hey, here I think. I'm going to check these real quick. Hi. Nope. Really oh, hot. Hot. All right. Hot. He's a heat seeker, by the way. we got some candles lit back here. He understands pretty good, but we'll we have uh, many adventures to come. Ashley yeah, and I do. We love to travel, and uh, I'll tell you what. We plan on getting uh, more pets, more travels, and who knows what the honeymoon has to bring. I like my nails, by the way, guys. This is like a coffee color, and this is like a really deep green that Paul picked out. Let's get started with you with mm. what we got here. Tell oh. Ashley, tell him. What we're doing tonight. This is a charcuterie board spread, and it's all plant-based. This is a, a balsamic. I have a balsamic glaze here. Uh, this is a hot pepper spread. These are vanilla and fig seeded crackers. I got these cheeseless. They're like Cheez-Its, but they're plant-based. Um, they got a little bit of sea salt on them. Vegan mozzarella. Got some basil there just for decoration. And then I have... Green beans, carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes, all raw. 
These are Paul's favorite. They're the root. I love these chips. What are they? The vegetable root chips? Mm -hmm. Um, and this is me the, vegan the feta. Exotic style, though. Yeah, exotic. So they have a lot more purple in them. This is vegan feta. This is roasted eggplant hummus, and I put beetroot powder in it so that they didn't, because they look the same color. Um, and it's healthier. Green olives, caramelized onion uh, hummus, which is mine and Paul's favorite. Papadoos, and two things of basil for the tomato basil. Yeah, right. you'll see how it's looks like it. Yeah. Okay, let's see. We got knives and stuff, little cheese cutting things back here, and this is for the spreads or use whatever. What, what, what is this? Uh, I think that's the cheese cutter because okay. you can like stab it down. Well, I guess I'm going to be. I'm not the only one living here. I don't know. I'm just trying to be. I think I'm going to try tomato basil. Oh, cheesy. Tomato basil on this vanilla cracker. Mmm. Let's see. We'll do feta. Feta. It's really fun though. Yeah. Yeah, and you can put like whatever you want together. There's so many options, right? Yep. There's so many. I didn't put fruit, I know, but yeah, it is what it is. Not, every, is not everything would fit. What is this, a pimento? <laughs> Pompadou. Pompadou. It's like a uh, sweet and spicy. Pepper. Mm. What do you think? I'm gonna stick some basil from the side here. Big thing of basil. Some tomatoes. This is like finger food, guys. They actually brought to life. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What'd you do? The papa do. Mm. I have a good recipe for that. Maybe I'll do an appetizer sometime. Mm. So, what'd you guys do for Halloween? Yeah, did you guys stay home, pass out candy? Did you go trick or treating? What did you dress up as? We had a fantastic time in Utah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, we didn't go there for Halloween. We came back and passed out um, candy with Paul's parents. That was really fun. I'm gonna tell you what, you guys. Utah, seriously, has been the best vacation mm. that I've ever taken. Me too. That place is unbelievable. And you have to scary. check it out, right? You have to check it out. It's a big country. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. The best and the scariest for me. Mm -hmm. We'll tell you a story about it. Mmm. Isn't that good? Mm. So, baby. Mm. I think there's just some. <laughs> Many room over here. Normal olives, but green olives, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, green olives. But one of our favorite drinks is a dirty martini. Oh yeah, I actually mm -hmm. introduced Paul to that, <laughs> didn't I? Mm -hmm. oh, that was a big piece of cheese. If they're made right, they are the best. Yeah, the thing is, you can't put too much olive juice in it. Yeah, like olive rind. They gotta have, it has to be the perfect amount. And if you have a good bartender, she'll get it right. Yeah. Well, he or she. Sorry. Yeah. No. Uh, but anyway. Mm. So, in Moab, we did many things. Mm. But the biggest thing that I think <laughs> we did it was the most dramatic. It's one time we went to Rob. Uh, we went to um, this place called um, Dead Horse Point. Mm. Right? Yes, I flipped that over by the Doesn't matter because we doubled it all. Yeah, we don't care. <laughs> and in Dead Horse Point, um, we went up to the top and I, we were looking down and we saw these little roads down there and a huge view of the canyon. Yeah. So. What is this here? That's a vegan mozzarella. That's what I use in my lasagna that you like. I have to make that sometime. It's good to caramelize on you. So we're at Dinner Wars Point. We're looking down. Mm -hmm. Everybody looks like ants. Like cars. So, while I'm up there, I'm looking down and I'm saying, holy shizzy. <laughs> I see these little roads. 
I'm down at the bottom of the camp. I said, Ashley, we gotta get down there. I'm gonna check that out. Mm -hmm. So the next day, I plan out. I'm looking on how to get there. Yeah. And we have to go to Canyonlands. I have noticed when you go to Utah, Paul brought this up. When you're up really high and you see things down below, you want to be down below. But when you're yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you're down below, down below, and you see things up high, you want to stay up high. high. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's so much to do there. It's insane. And so, yeah, go ahead. We look it down, and I said, okay, I found a way to get down there the next day. Mm -hmm. And Ashley's always game. She's like, yeah, let's do it. Come yeah. On. So, the I like next day, we get down there. The next day, I plan it out. I find out how to get down there through the canyon lane. So, we had to go to another part. Mm -hmm. We start trailing this road, and everything seems cool at first. Mm. Until we see a couple signs that say, oh. steep cliffs, they're steep. Uh-uh. Road narrow. Stop, God. Steep and narrow roads, right? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. But you're thinking, you paid to get in there. Right. They wouldn't lead you into a death trap. <clears throat> no, but they did. So we started driving down this road. And the next thing you know, we are literally on the side of a gorge. Like, imagine, like imagine riding right down the side of the Grand Canyon. I've never been there, but we'll put it a clip um, how close I dared and to this even. Is, yeah, this is what it was like. As, as close as I dared to, like, stick my hand out the window, which was not very far. I started crying. I never do that. I'm not usually a wimp or whatever, but I don't like heights. And, excuse me. <laughs> But I literally thought because every time we turned a corner, our vehicle started slipping. You could hear the tires going. <laughs> and, you know, you really don't have far to go before you're off a thousand foot drop. So. <laughs> yeah, there's no curbs. There's no, no guardrail. Nothing. And when you turn Sorry. the corner, there's a lot of reaching. You come down and they turn up. Hairpin corner. It was so steep. Steep at one time. Mm. We were actually teetering. Yeah. It might have been only one or two inches, but it mm. felt like a million miles. That's when I started crying. This is totally insane. This is a cliff over here. What are so the chances though that they gave us the RAV because we were supposed yeah. to have this tiny car. A tiny and car. One. Yeah. So they gave us a all-wheel drive, which like look, I don't even want to look. Over I feel here. like we have to do it. That's a drop-off cliff right there. I'm freaking and, and out. And this is like a ledge we're driving on. Yeah. It's like a ledge. And this is a two-way road. The There's mountain. obviously little pull-offs, but like, Jesus. I don't even know how this is legal. I don't even. This would never be legal in New York. Never. They would have so many fences and walls. Look at. You can't even oh see it. Oh, my God, baby. Paul, don't look over there. Watch the road. He's over here, but you guys, look at this. That is a straight drop. They should call this instead of Canyonlands. <gasps> Paul, this is too weird, too bad. No, 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 no. Settle no. down. Oh my God, everyone's so high. You guys, I do better. not do well with heights. This better get better. Oh my God, I can't even look over there. I'm on the door right now. Okay. Stay tuned. Our car, we go like this. As she started crying, I had to get out to reassess the situation because I had. I've never felt closer to death than I did there. <laughs> And we've been actually, on some pretty good adventures. I actually panicked. I started to panic a little bit. I was like, I love you. I don't know what to do. <laughs> but. I like really didn't know what else to say. I was just like, I love you. Just know if anything happens, I love you. We stopped because Paul's looking at how much farther it is to get to the salt thing. Hold on one sec, babe. You can't even see the roadways because it's like, it looks like just rock formations. But. Basically, the roadway is right along this, so you're driving along the mountain. <laughs> okay. So anyway, luckily people are really nice, and they wait like a really far ways away. Like it, you can see cars coming, and so they like wait for you. Um, so that's nice. We met a nice couple too on the way by with their kids. 
So yeah, crazy how the world works sometimes. All right, you guys, I'm too scared to look, but holy shit. <sighs> I hope I'm getting it. It's like a clear drop off. The road luckily widened. But then you got like narrow little turns like that. Definitely need good brakes. So we made it all the way down to the bottom of the canyon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, it actually stayed with me. Yeah. I'm so look. Well, I'm not going to leave you. <laughs> I love her so much. Huh? Like she's... She's stuck it out with me. Yeah. What was he going to do? Get out of the car? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know why I cry like a little baby. No, but I did tear up. I was like... But you were like bitching and... Oh. Throwing yourself. Mm -mm. I was so scared for both of us. She trusted me to take care of the situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't want to freak out too much because I'm like, he's still driving, you know? <laughs> but... So when we got to the bottom, she's like, I don't want to go back up. I don't want to go back up well, that. Paul said, if we go back up, it's quicker to get back. And I'm like, we're not going back up. And it would have been quicker. <laughs> but she was so scared, I'm like... Well, we kept running into cars. And there's only certain spots where you can move in a little bit. Yep. So on the way down, we ran into another couple who had... Toddlers in their car. You know, a married couple. <sighs> like toddlers in the back of car seats. But they came from the bottom... And they were starting yeah. to get so they were the going part. the other direction. Mm -hmm. And they said it was they got they were driving for like three hours, mm -hmm. and they finally got to the same point that we were at. And, and we said, stopped to talk to them for a little bit. And so when we got to the bottom, I said, hey, "Actually, it's three hours out of here. If you want to," she said, "She didn't want to go back up. I don't care how long it takes." <laughs> and I said, "Well, if we go this way, it's going to be three hours to get to civilization. Are you okay with that?" Yep. I don't care how long it takes. <laughs> I just don't want to go back up. Yeah. Because we made it down. You're not trying to die on vacation. So you make it down. You just want to get out of there. If you guys it was a 20-minute like drive. That. It was a 20-minute drive down yeah, the but... cliff. It was like <laughs> it was the world's most dangerous roads <clears throat> series. I don't know how that how it's legal. And you have to pay for it. It's like, oh... Give us your money, so in case yeah, you die. It was $30 to get <laughs> into the park. Do it on that roll. Give us your money in case you die. So. <laughs> then we'll say we paid for it. Uh, I was worried because it was a rental Toyota RAV that we didn't even really, um, we weren't supposed RAV to have. No, we were supposed to actually have a smaller car. Like an economy well, piece of trash. That was not meant for off-roading, which... If you guys go to Moab in particular, I highly recommend you getting an SUV yeah. or something four-wheel drive because you'll need it. You definitely want to see the scenery, but you don't want to die in the process. So, anyway. Mm. That's okay. Fair enough. Mm. But I told her, actually, this is really rough terrain because hey, we might pop a tire. Getting out of here because I mean uh, there was literally jagged rocks sticking up at some point. But it points. was flat ground. And at some point we, we really had to take it really slow to, to maneuver the vehicle just like you see on that four by four shows. But if you've been through what we've been through, he didn't fight me on it too much. Normally no, he's just like because I I was, mind, I was a little nervous too, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie about it. Yeah. I could tell. That's why I was like, if you're questioning it then then we ain't going back up. <laughs> so we took a slow. We stopped to take some other pictures, which we'll show. Mm -hmm. Of the Colorado River. Mm -hmm. And we had a fun. We had fun. We had a blast going back. It took us three hours to get out of there. But then we took we got out and we and I, we would have never saw the, the pictures of the of the of the what was it? Petro, Pet petroglyphs. Petroglyphs. Those were awesome. They like they're like um, really old cave drawings, or like drawings on the side of the club, but they preserve them. Very I'll cool. tell you what. We had a fantastic time. I've even been to like Cancun and Jamaica. This was the best time. This was by far the, the most unique scenery I've ever seen in my life. 
And I don't, uh, I'm sure Ashley, being with Ashley made it better. <laughs> Climbing up to the arches when mm -hmm. I proposed to her. He's like, are you sure you're up for going to the arches? That I'm was like, the same day. I'm like, it's a hike. It's out of the car. Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> you can grab onto anything, you know. But the nature mm. and the beauty and the serenity and the peacefulness there. I mean, we, we ran into ravens that lead us along There was like a, a raven that followed us all the way up to the, to the uh, arches. To the peak. And it was actually, as soon as we parked for the arches, like, the raven was like, we'll insert a clip of it, making really yeah. weird noises. And we were like... <laughs> it was all it was all signals. I know uh -huh. some people that might not believe in that, but I do. Yeah. And Ashley and I both do. Definitely. All the way up. The, the whole way. And after he proposed, the thing was, like, swarming around us. It flew overhead. Yeah. And it was just an amazing experience, spiritually. And um, that was like the best, like emotional connection I ever felt with to somebody me in my too. life. And we're gonna keep continuing, huh? Yeah, we're what? gonna keep continuing on that journey. Yeah, uh, I was saying, like, if if you want a really romantic vacation, go to Moab, Moab, Utah. All right, say again. Cool. That's cool. One more time, bro. Mm. Oops, sorry, baby. That's really good, though. Yeah? I'm really enjoying this spread. This is actually the biggest charcuterie board I've ever made. <laughs> no, I'm not even hitting that. I know, me neither. <clears throat> Cheers. Let's hit this glass. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Yeah. They could do it. They are actually over generations. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm talking about the cowboy hat. The cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. Persuade you? <laughs> oh my god, I need to make it It's gonna be a couple more hours before we get to And now it's not nighttime. That's how high up we are. It's like sunny over there and it's shady everywhere. Perfect! <laughs> About to get it, get it. We're gonna be on and popping. We, we got a little the, bit on Utah. Uh, professional glasses. Yeah. In the hotel. Holiday Inn. <laughs> I get splashy. Cheers. Cheers, baby. Love you. Me too. Are you serious? What is that? You gotta get tippy tippy. <sighs> I'm delirious from that. <laughs> you survived. We're just getting started on this journey, you guys, and I hope you join us. And I really do highly recommend. Even as a single female, like, I know what it was like to kind of hold yourself back from traveling and seeing things. Um, I've always wanted to travel, and I don't know. I just have never been able to. My dad was a big traveler, so 
one of my grandparents. So they were always going somewhere and stuff. I think that's where my adventurous side comes from. So I love that Paul is very much interested in that stuff with me. Because you really need to experience life. Just go to somewhere else, you know? Like, even if it's not very far away, do what we can get away somewhere. And we really want to continue doing this, you guys. But we need your help. So please, subscribe, like, share this with a friend. And we'll share our adventures with you. Definitely comment. And give us some, give us some, um, feedback if we're doing feedback, something wrong. Yeah. Like Paul and the chips. Yeah. We love you guys. What are these? These are like vegan cheese uts They're cheeseless. <laughs> Is that what they're called? <laughs> they're like cheeseless. <clears throat> they're like a raw cracker. They're actually really good with this pepper paste. These guys damn things are pretty good. Yeah, Pompadours. Guys, even if you don't want to eat those vegan, either use vegan sausage or regular sausage. You can use sweet or hot. Stuff those in the Pompadours. Pompadours? No, I'm questioning myself. And put them in the oven until the sausage is cooked. Oh, delicious. My uh, dad's cousin, Danny, used to make the appetizer, and I always remembered it because it was so good. He made it non-vegan, obviously, because I wasn't always plant-based, but it was really good. They're pretty good, huh? <clears throat> These are really good. And very vanilla -y. You could easily make those like a dessert cracker or um, or just have it regularly. Mm -hmm. Cut off chunks of cheese and just throw them places. <clears throat> Our best food mm. when we were in no we went, what do you think it was, baby? Oh, hmm. the taco, right? Oh, check out our other video, that taco truck. The taco truck was amazing. I only got one little taco, but it was perfect. Also, though, I would also say another one was the uh, the Mexican restaurant we went to. Hmm. Right. Yeah, very much so. What was that called? I love Mexican food, you guys. Oh, no. Um, mm. What's it called? What do we have there? Wormel. What do we have there? It was an authentic Mexican restaurant. We had the ceviche. It was really good. Sorry. And the ceviche. Miguel's. Miguel's. Their ceviche was delicious. And also... Um, I remember <clears throat> really liking the penthouse, which was in Salt Lake City. We could just relax there. It felt like home. Very cozy. This penthouse was amazing. If you're in Salt Lake City, you go to BRBO and get this penthouse. I'm telling you what. Paul up with his cowboy hat in front of it. Really awesome. It was, it was an amazing spot to stay. And uh, they treated us well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we actually just, I think we were so worn out from Moab. We were. <clears throat> because there's so much to do, like hiking, your adrenaline gets pumping because you're going down a cliff. <laughs> like, it was insane. Um, but by the time we got to the penthouse, which was the second half of the vacation, we just kind of relaxed a little bit. You know, it was more like city. Mm. I don't care. All right, you guys, we got many fantastic shows yet to come. And Ashley and I have just got engaged. So we are yeah. just starting this adventure. So please join us. Mm. I love you, baby. Yeah, we could. You can be good. Yeah. Oh my God, we put the whole thing in there? That's what she said. All right, you guys. Whether you're joining us for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, remember we love you guys. Say it back. back. Your breath smells stink. <laughs>